I'm hooked. You're hooked. How are you doing? doing? I'm you're good. Right, yeah. The last one of the day. All right. This is Nick and Tyler, hey, by the hey, way. Nick, how are you nice doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tyler. How are you doing? Nice to meet you guys. So, you've done all these interviews now. I'm going to sort of ask you a simple question. Why this movie? I've only done the Interstellar a few years ago. Why, right. why The Martian? Well, um, ultimately, it's, a, it's, you know, when I first met the, the writer of the movie, he said, I, I want this to be like a love letter to science. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and it is, I mean, ultimately the, the movie is just really uplifting and really optimistic. And, you know, with the headlines that we read today, I, I just felt for all of us like this was a good thing to put out there. It's a really, it's a movie about everybody coming together and the value of one life and, and, and about these people who make these sacrifices and, and who, who do these incredible things on everybody else's behalf. Um, and, and at the very end, like, what that's worth to the world and, 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 it, and that it's worth a lot. And so that was a message we wanted to put out there and, and, and I'm really proud of the movie. Two of my favorite films of yours are very different. Saving Private Ryan, of course, yeah, yeah. and We Bought a Zoo. Totally different. <laughs> Apart from this one, what's your favorite movie you've made to date? Uh, well, I mean, I think I'd, I'd, I'd put Good Will Hunting on the list just because Ben and I wrote it and, and that movie really launched us. Um, that, that, that'd definitely be up there. Um, you know, the Bourne series, obviously, for me, uh, you know, is another big... Uh, but the Talented Mr. Ripley, a movie I made a long time ago with the great Anthony Minghella, I, I, that was a one I, I really loved. So, I, yeah, a, 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 it's, it's tough to choose. It's like, I know people... I, I, Clint Eastwood and I once had this conversation where I was asking him about his movies, and he goes... He goes, yeah, you know, some people say this movie's a masterpiece. Some people say that movie's terrible. He goes, I love them all. He goes, I, I know exactly why I made each one. And, and, and I really identified with that. I mean, you know, even the ones that don't turn out right, we work really hard on them. You know, you put the same amount of hours in and, and you care about it just as much. And it's like one of your babies, you know, so. Final question, I'm getting rushed. Final question, I've asked Kirsten, I've asked Kate, I've asked Ridley, can we take you for a drink afterwards? I would love to. You know what? You know what I'm doing? I'm literally getting on a plane to go back to Spain to keep shooting the Bourne movie, oh, yeah. which I'm doing right now. Yeah, yeah. Have but a great night. Next time I'm in London, I would love that. Do it. Do it. Right. Nice to meet you guys. It's really noisy behind me. They're cheering for us, not Matt. But it was a really nice guy. Really, really pleasant guy, and really pro forces. Top bloke. I'm gonna. We're, we're now we're now going into the movie to watch Ridley Scott's *The Martian*. Have a great night.